Hello everyone, Martin here, back with another Legacy video. Playing Turbo Doomsday today. Quad personal tutors, just full-blown pedal to the metal kind of kind of a, a list. Um, I am playing two oracles, which is not something I usually favor, but gonna give it a try. That seems to be the the approach of most of the people I see playing Turbo regularly. Um, I would consider going up to three street wraith, so having like five instead of four cyclers, but but uh, but but trying this constellation, two cabal rituals and four petals, so just like a lot of mana ramp. Um, the preordain was at one stage a Lorien revealed, but I, th I and I think they to an extent kind of can fill the same role. Uh, Preordain can obviously draw three cards uh, with a Dark Ritual or whatever, but I don't think that's going to be the plan very often anyways. Uh, and they can both sort of help fix mana, and this also helps us look for, for Doomsday. A, a bunch of different ways you can approach building the sideboard. Um, I've gone with uh, four Force of Negation for, um, like, uh, against the other Cabo decks. Um, Partly against Stompy decks, although this doesn't counter a significant portion of what they're doing because it's creature based, but it's still uh, like good answers for Sphere Resistance, uh, Chalice, whatever. Um, I have the Mystical Dispute, the Shell Dog Isle, and the Emrakul for uh, for the control decks, um, and then Shouldred plus Triple Shouldred plus extra Camera Souls and the Jurass for Delver. And then also the Dismember also come in versus any Mags of the Moon type deck and probably uh, any Thalia decks as well, even though it's not the best, but, but still fine. And Tormod's Crypt does some work against Reanimator and stuff, but also against Endurance decks. So, um, yeah, let's take it for a spin. On the draw, uh, sorry, on the play for round number one here. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. It's a pretty decent hand. Oh yeah, I forgot in the deck tech, I forgot to go through that I'm trying out the uh, Undercity Sewers as a one of, uh, the Surveil Land, which I am quietly sort of hopeful will, will be good. I'm going to fetch Basic Island here though, um, and cast Ponder, and look for a Doomsday to pair with my Dark Ritual. No... No Doomsday, but I do like the second Ponder, and I'm just going to put Street Wraith in my hand. And uh, let's go. Can Wraith into Ponder if we need to both, like if we're up against like heavy combo or something, we need both days and Force, but... What did Foothills? This could be Rhinos. Uh, it could be like Elves or like Cradle Control or something. Let's see. This gets Volcanic Island, I'm thinking Rhinos. Plateau, huh, interesting. And Soul Guide Lantern. I guess this is Painter, probably? Maybe? Okay, so Ponder is exiled. Um, let's uh, fetch, get Underground Sea, and cast another Ponder. There is Doomsday. There's also Brainstorm to just win next, like if I were to wait one turn. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to just cast Doomsday now and then make a pile that hopefully wins pretty easily next turn. Is there blue in this Plateau Soul Guide Lantern deck? There's certainly a long pause here. I'm not sure if this is not a blue deck, what the opponent is thinking about. All right, so they are exiling my graveyard and all right let's uh so let's i guess put cavern of souls and thassa and uh, some edges of autumn um and uh, the second street wraith so we draw a set uh, an edge we edge into street wraith into edge yeah, so the, between the draw step and the Street Wraith, this works. And um, let's put Thassa second from bottom, and then let's just stack them so they can't, like, 
grindstone rant like and and like milbo things all right that, but they would need a lot of mana to, to play grindstone and activate it but you never know well there's an ancient tomb and a pass okay um yeah i think i just sort of start, start the show here double street wraith and i guess putting um Thassa on top of the cavern means I, if I had a, a, another blue card to pair with force, then I'm sort of shutting myself off of days, uh, which is unnecessary, but yeah, that's not the case though, so. Choose Merfolk. Remember to tap here, or if I just click the Oracle with two mana floating, it's just going to put our Oracle on the stack without letting me choose to tap my cavern, so. So let's see if they have something here. I don't know what it would be. There's that new flash creature. I'm not sure if that's legal yet. The one that I think costs white and two, and that is like a Hushbringer. Uh, I, I might be getting stuff mixed up here. But um, let's see, we have the force here. All right, so this is a, um, this is a an ancient tomb. It's, it's an Ursus Saga deck for sure. And it has red. I'm gonna go with my instinct and, and, and you know, think it's Painter. And if it is Painter, then having access to Emrakul is not a bad idea. Um, dismember for, uh, what you, what's his face? Um, I, um, Mags of the Moon is also not bad. Shouldered is fine, but she comes, like, w with without any sort of way to, to handle Urza's Saga, Shoulder runs into the Saga problem, which is like, if they can just like start pooping out like five five six sixes seven sevens whatever, then Shoulder is outclassed. But I don't know. This is a lot of cards to bring in. Um, let's see. I probably will cut all of the personal tutors. Which it, it's sort of it's it's cutting me off being able to like, or or at least limiting my my capabilities to go really fast. Um, and let's cut like a uh, an edge of autumn and a consider, and an LED. That's seven cards. That leaves us with only eighteen blue cards, which is certainly a little bit low. For uh, for force of will. But I'm I'm still I'm gonna try this. Okay, double shouldered. Like this hand is gonna uh, this is gonna be like brutal if they have like a turn one blood moon, or mags of the moon. But I'm gonna keep. This slaps or at least competes pretty well against non moon effect starts. I'd also not like to see them open on uh, on Ursa Saga. They open on Great Furnace. So are they going to just start blasting cantrips here? I think that's certainly not unreasonable. And yep, especially if they have like a strong follow-up here, if they have the Magus or, I don't know, even just like a Saga here would be pretty good. Fable is also decent, huh? Fable is going to get to do things eventually that is going to be a little bit annoying. Mox Opal, okay. That's currently not switched on. Dark Ritual one time? Okay, Ponder. I'm going to open on Brainstorm. would like to probably shuffle one of these Shouldrits away. Oh, and there's a Cabal Ritual. So that's nice. We also are a little bit land heavy here. Um, yeah, I think I just pass. Uh, actually... Oh, too late. I clicked through. I was going to say maybe I just ponder, because I'm not going to be pondering next turn. They get to rummage here, I believe is the, is the name of that, of that keyword. Get rid of two lands. Oh, bummer, there's a saga. But, yeah, keeping hold of the ponder lets me, if, if I get to resolve shoulder it, I can, like, ponder and at least gain a couple of life. Uh, a couple of life points. 
goblin engineer, sure. So now they can get painter, and um, then with the when the saga pops, they can combo. But we have the the shul, uh, well, the the Emrakul. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to beat this board with only shoulder though. Maybe uh, street wraith will have to street wraith will have to pull some weight. So I can't get threshold. I don't think uh, even if I lead with ponder. So strand is three. Delta is four, Ponder is five, like if I cycle Street Wraith, uh, six, it's still not enough. Yeah, they get Painter and Welder, okay. So they, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna be like pretty capable with, with their combo. Um, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have, yeah, I should have fetched the Undercity Sewers, just gotten a free scry. Uh, bummer. Oh, there's Doomsday, though. Wow. Oh, bummer. How much you want to bet their last card in hand is a Red Blast? Mm, so, I could... Like, if it's not a Red Blast, then... Then I could just, like, go for the win here. Like, I Cabal Ritual, cast Doomsday... I then uh, put Brainstorm on top, Street Wraith into it, play Delta, fetch C. So there are like three cards in the deck. I Brainstorm, draw, pedal, pedal, uh, Thassa, put back two blanks. And then we lose to whatever is in their hand, if it's like Bolt or Blast. So what what would it be if it wasn't a blast. What would they not have played out or not been able to play out last turn? Let's see here. Did they did they make their land drop? They discarded they played Urza Saga, yeah, that's right. So that it could be a land. And it could be a blast. Um This is the I guess I would have the opportunity to Doomsday next turn. Right, because the, the saga is not going to pop yet uh, with the grindstone. Yeah, I think I'm actually, I am going to cast Kapal Ritual here. And then I'm going to name Wizard, because I don't believe they can counter this uh, shoulder anyways. I had a lot of options there. I could, You know what I could have also done and would have been a better play probably? I just think of that now is I I put Sheldog Isle on top. I cy I just cast Doomsday instead off the Cabal Ritual and then cycle into Sheldog Isle. And that puts a lot of pressure on them to do something next turn. Uh, I think that would would have been better, but uh, that, too bad. I missed that. All right. They take two. Ah, I can't believe I missed that, actually. That I, that feels like I would probably have won. I mean, they, they have more than six permanents, but, uh, but still. All right. Saga is now on two chapters. They now have a reflection of Kiki Jiki. They have two cards in hand, so they're twice as likely to have a red blast as they were before. All right, so they're willing in uh, the painter. Now they can just like red blast Shouldered. So I guess we we were a bit vulnerable to to red blast regardless. Like also, the Sheldar Isle also dies to that, right? They could just like if they have the blast, they could just weld in Shouldered or uh, sorry, the painter, and then blast the blast the uh, the Sheldark. Well, let's see, let's see what they're what they're gonna do. Another engineer. So what is that engineer going to get? Whatever it gets, the the welder can just get immediately. I guess like it gets grindstone then. Yeah. All right. So grindstone comes in, and now they'll they'll find out that there's an emercool in the deck. Hopefully they're not sitting on like surgical extraction. And if they still have their soul guide lantern, then that this is just postponing things for a turn. But it might be enough. I'm not sure. I think we need like to draw a um yep all right I think we need to draw a uh, a ritual or a petal here 
to be able to to win this turn, the turn we're gonna get. All right, so Emrakul shuffles, they get to see my entire deck and watch me draw Emrakul on my next draw step. Well, so they're attacking here to get uh, a mana, which may or may not mean they, they're sitting on a, on a blast. I'm not sure if I think they are, unless they actually blast shouldered here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What did I just say? I just knew it. I don't know. Uh, I, I guess there's nothing to know. Um, okay, so if I ponder here and find Doomsday, or oh, sorry, find Dark Ritual, I think we can we can win. I think it has to be Dark Ritual. Well, I, you know, I'm going to take the Brainstorm because it, it means I can Brainstorm back this Emrakul that my deck, you know, just, I don't know, tauntingly gave me. So, we'll see. If they are actually paused on the Ponder, like they were considering Red Blasting it, and they did make that attack before, so it's not unreasonable to think they have, to ha they have a Red Blast. Yeah, they're paying costs. Damn it. Okay. So I'm going to make my attack here. And if they activate Grindstone, um, my one line, I think, is to shuffle with uh, Delta and then Cycle Street Wraith, hope to hit uh, Brainstorm blindly. And they are making a Constrict here. Okay. They're down to six. I don't know that they would have... Uh, pithing needle, but and if they had it, I don't know that they would get it. But um, I'm gonna sacrifice my ability to under city sewer scry here or surveil and just you know make the line available to me that I that I need. I guess, like, do they have mana to do this? No, right? They don't have mana right now, at least, to activate the grindstone because they chose to make a construct and they got a pedal. Okay, so no Soul Guide Lantern, but this is sitting in my hand, unbelievable. Are they attacking with anything? Yes, here come the Painter. Oh, and the Welder, huh? Activate this on the Engineer to get another thing into the graveyard, but they're choosing not to. Or, I mean, they can still do it, but um, maybe they should have held back Welder if that was their, their plan. Let's see if we can get some help here. Another brainstorm. That is uh that is very good. So I mean I could cast I could cast Doomsday here and then Street Wraith for a petal. But I think I'll I'll be a land short or like a card in hand short. So if I if I Street Wraith if I cast Doomsday, right? So I, I cycle Street Wraith, draw Petal. Then I Petal, cast Brainstorm. I draw Thassa, another Petal and X. And I put back X and Emrakul. I guess that could work. So then what happens if they're sitting on yet another Blast? Well, I mean, if they're sitting on a Blast, why aren't they blasting Shouldred? I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this line, though. I mean, they can just blast this Doomsday if they if they have it. Okay, so uh, Lotus Petal, where are you? You're blue. I guess I probably need to cycle on one, like one more time. Okay, I cycle Street Wraith, cycle draw Edge, cycle Edge, draw Petal, cast Brainstorm, draw Petal, Thassa. I guess second Thassa. Yeah, I kind of like that. And I mean, if we get to do all of this, we get to put Emrakul back as well. So that if they do activate the grindstone kind of thing, yeah. Let's try this. Hope I didn't do any miscalculations. All right, so two Thassas on the bottom. And then like this. So we cycle the Street Wraith, which is free because of Shouldered. 
and we cycle this. And if they have just kept a blast and choose to blast my exactly my brainstorm here, I'm gonna be kind of bummed out. You could also have like a mind break trap. That's not completely unreasonable for them to have. Um, yeah, I guess we can put Thassa on top of Emrakul. We gain a bunch of life. All right, they concede. Sweet deal. Off to winning start versus a not so easy matchup. Let's uh, get to round number two. Round number two on the play once more. Um, mm, yeah. I'll keep this. I'm not in love with it, but it's it's okay. And I think I'm actually going to save my Street Wraith, and then I'm going to play a fetch land and get under City Sewers to get my Surveil at end of my opponent's turn. Which is pretty sweet. I can even, like, use it proactively if it's, like, uh, versus a combo deck. I can then fetch Surveil and then know if like have a better shot at a blue card on top to cycle the Street Wraith into to have both Force and Days. And looks like we might need it. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those times where like maybe you're supposed to force the LED if this is Dredge, which it could well be, but then sometimes you force the LED, they have a second one and you hit your life. Faithless looting. And that sacrifices... Okay. I mean... This this is going to cost us a bunch, but we could force the looting and then daze it on the flashback, and then they have... They'll still get to dredge next turn, but only once per turn. Instead of twice now, or rather, four times now, and then once in their, on their draw sub. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the Undercity Sewers here, see. So, let's surveil. Oh, there's even a Doomsday. Tell you what, I'm going to let this stay on top and change your plans. I'm just going to let them go nuts here. Because we have the win next turn if they don't shred our hand. There's a Therapy. Uh, please, just one Therapy. One Therapy so far. And they need to hit an Arc Amoeba to get a creature into play to flash it back. And they didn't, so that was fortunate for us. And now we just get to win. Great day in the morning. This seems like regular dredge. And not like the that blue pitch dredge uh, that I've seen pop up. Um, hey, how about that Undercity Sewers, huh? Coming in big. So let's cast Doomsday, just cycle, and consider through the whole thing, go like this. So we put Thos on the bottom, and then like we draw Consider with Street Wraith, uh, Mill over uh, Edge of Autumn, and, and Bob's your uncle. Doesn't really matter how we stack those, as long as Consider is not directly above Thassa. Cycle the Street Wraith, crack LED for blue. Cast Consider, and away we go. Wow, awesome. Hello, Undercity Sewers. You're already doing work. All right, so this being Dredge, we obviously want the, uh, the Tormod script. Not too sure about Force of Negation, to be honest. Not sure it's going to do a whole lot. Um, we would be forcing a, I guess, force of will on faithless looting is 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 pretty neat. So what do we end up cutting here? Maybe the second oracle. I don't know. On the draw, Thoughtsee seems pretty mediocre. Um. Ah, I. Don't really hate personal tutor, like the speed is a thing here. Maybe cut the preordain. Maybe like three force of negation is enough, like seven force effects. Cause I think force of will is like notoriously bad at stopping dredge. 
All right, I'm going to keep this hand, though. Uh, speaking of force, this is pretty good. Uh, opponent mulligans to six, to five. Dredge is one of those decks that can, like, mulligan down to... We don't have Bazaar of Baghdad, but we can, like, Legacy Dredge can still mulligan down to, like, four or five and have a pretty good hand, but obviously it stretches the resources, so I'm much more likely to force of will, like, a line side diamond on a mole when my opponent is mulling into five than if they keep seven. And it looks like they found five they like. All right. There's a gemstone in mine. There's that LED. I'm going to force it. They might have Faithless Looting here, but even if they do, like, forcing the LED is, is huge. Cabal Therapy, okay. So they probably named Doomsday here, which is obviously annoying, but... Yeah, it is what it is. Maybe they get cute and name, like, Dark Ritual or Brainstorm or something. Yeah, they named Dark Ritual, huh? So, let's just draw a Petal or any Ritual to just insta-punish this. Tormod Script, I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. Would still like to hit Dark Ritual here and just get the show on the road. Don't think I want any of these cards, so I'm going to shuffle. Force of Negation, not amazing. I'll play out um, the pedal, and I guess just pass. If they take my LED, I mean, they wouldn't. They would name Doomsday with the, if they get to flashback the therapy, but let's uh, let's see here. Or they have second therapy? Yeah, sure. All right, all right. So now we're both sort of not doing a lot, but I have a crypt, so can at least hold them off for quite a while. Oh, and I draw the dark ritual. Brutal. I think I probably play out. I don't know. I mean, leaving cards in my hand they know about is a little bit annoying because of therapy, uh, but. I don't know. I'd rather keep LED and brainstorm it away, I think. Oh, Faithless Looting, huh? Okay. Um, I mean, I, it's not like I can do anything. Okay, two Grave Trolls. So the Dredge is on here. Cephalic Coliseum. They have Threshold, but they don't have the second mana to activate this. Um, but I will need to blow the Crypt, I believe. Cephalic Coliseum is also, like, secretly the best card for Dredge against us, because they can target us and, and basically mean we can't really win with Doomsday. There's a blue card for my Force. So I think I just basically blow this now. I don't think they would have, like, a blue card or something that, that could cycle and draw or something, so... Okay, so now they have one card and no Graveyard, but... If they, like, they can't start doing things. There's Cephalic Coliseum number two. Okay. Well, now I, they know I have Force of Negation, and now I can hardcast it. So we have both hardcast Force and then, like, alternative cost days. Well, is this going to get to the point where we're, like, where they're casting their, their, their dredge creatures? Yeah, maybe. Okay, Brainstorm is pretty big. And there we go. Okay, so let's put away... We can't win this turn uh, regardless. Actually, no, let's keep the Personal Tutor, put away the LED and the Petal. We're keeping Personal Tutor because that means on, on the, their turn we can both Force of Negation and Daze. Hopefully they aren't like... have They don't have like Mind Break Trap or something. So I'm just going to not respect them having some weird interaction with with the Doomsday here, with Thassa. Um, like Red Blast or some other removal spell. I don't believe they have that, so I'm just going to go for the same turn. Empty the deck and cast Thassa. They would need to get Threshold... Uh, with one card in hand and one draw step to kill me with this, so I don't, I don't, I'm not too scared about that. So if they have like uh, Faithless Looting and then drew an LED, that 
could do it, I think. Let's see. They might also have some tech I'm not thinking about. Okay, looks like they're just passing. Unfortunately, since uh, I put two Edge of Autumns in here, I won't even be able to keep up, keep up days. But uh, I don't think it's going to matter. All right, sweet deal. 2-0. and oh. Let's uh, head into round number three. On the draw for round number three with a pretty spicy hand that just, like, wins instantly if our opponent is not a blue deck and doesn't discard us on turn one. But let's see. All right, our opponent is, by the looks of it, a blue strategy. Ooh, Volcanic Island. So it's Delver, huh? Good old evil Delver. Um, I think I, the play here is preordain, looking for and more lands. We find more lands, and I'm going to actually put both on top, because if they wasteland us, then we'll be happy to have the second land. If they don't wasteland us, then probably it won't matter. Okay, they have the wasteland. Yep. Another Delver. Okie doke. Think, um, I think I'm just going to play Delta, or sorry, Tarn Go. Hopefully they're not Grixis, uh, and there's no Orcish Bowmasters coming at me next turn, but we'll, we shall see. Delver doesn't flip. And right now there's potential for Bowmasters in the air. Now there is not. Okay. So what I'm... I was gonna, just going to say what I'm hoping for is they don't have Force Plus Days, but I just drew a Lotus Petal here to play around that. So I am going to... I'm going to play out the Petal. And I'm going to... Thoughtseize here. So Force Force Blue card is the beating here. Let's see if they get a C, reveal anything. They do get a C, interesting. Brainstorm, okay. All right, Brainstorm has resolved, and they have nothing. Great, Molten Collapse. So this can destroy Shouldered. I hope they board it out for uh, the post-board games. And, yeah. Just so there's this just gluttony of of resources in my hand here. Is there anything we want to hide? Yeah, let me just see. They well, it was literal nothing in their hand, right? Two lands, yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm not even gonna go all the way in to the deck. I'm just gonna cycle Edge of Autumn, sacking the LED, and then cycle two more times, and then draw Thassa. So we can put second Thassa and Cavern of Souls on the bottom. So they don't know that we have Cavern of Souls. They can deduce that we probably do, but... So Cavern and second Thassa, and then Thassa and two Cyclers. And Cycle Edge, maintain priority, sack LED, cycle second Edge, cycle Street Wraith. There we go. All right, so this is Grixis Delver, so it's a, it's a, it's not an easy matchup for sure. But Masters is a, is a pain. We want the second Cavern and the three Shouldered. We want the Duress. The question is if we want any number of Dismember. Like, ideally, you don't want to pay two life or sorry four life even to remove a creature. But at the same time, you have to ask yourself how much damage is that creature going to be dealing you, anyways. Um, so we may want one, and let's cut some number of personal tutor, maybe all number of personal tutor, and um, I guess like one thought sees, and what's the last cut? Second copy of Oracle, I think. So again, we're sort of low on the blue cards here, but I think that's okay, and I think like, the reason for cutting the second Oracle, in, in my mind at least, is that I don't, like, I in, in my head, like, second Oracle is 
best for when you're like um, trying to make like several past a certain piles or at least past turn once and maybe that's not ideal here opponent keeps seven i'm going to keep keep seven as well and um i am a little bit concerned about about uh bow masters on one of these brainstorms but um we shall see instant pressure with the drc that's how delver wants it we have the cavern here so like drawing shouldered would be just be amazing and I'm, i think Barring something, yeah, uh, we'll see what, what, what happens here, but I, I do kind of want to do the uh, the sewers play here. Okay, and no bowmasters, so that's good. We could also, like, brainstorm off of Underground Sea or whatever, just for maximum looks at, at Shouldred. But I think I think the sewers play is fine, and then we can brainstorm on our own turn. Turn. Oh, is a stifle, huh? That'd be kind of uh, kind of brutal. Looks like it. Okay. So they have stifle. We have another land here. I think I'm going to get, I guess, basic island. Um. And. Uh, this kind of sucks. But I'm really worried about Bowmasters, so I think I'm going to brainstorm now. And... Eh. It's not the worst. But not the best either. Um, Let's put back a Brainstorm and a Cabal Ritual. Like, if they have Bowmasters here, I think we, we just lose. But we will see. Stifle, huh? That's naughty. Now they have Delirium. So if, if they can, like, drop uh, a second DRC, I, I'm, it's questionable whether Shouldered even sort of races now. There's Wasteland, yikes. Let's cast the Ponder here. Ripe for days. Wow, okay. So that's really good, actually. That's Shouldered right now with Force Backup through a cavern and it'll will cost us everything if we have to to do that but um i certainly am going to try they didn't daze the ponder which i kind of think you would if you had days but we shall see they might have days now they do have days okay i am going to force it this is this is my stand hopefully they don't have second days Oh, they have red blasts. Okay, they got me. Dead to rights here. Well, we we didn't show them shoulder it. That it's pretty well known tech, I guess. So, not thinking I'm gonna be you know tricking them or anything. But yeah. All right. I don't think I changed anything here. We could add like personal tutor for the dismember on the draw, but or on the play, but I don't think so. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's try this. It's uh, once again like kind of vulnerable to our opponent being a, a stifle and wasteland deck, having to pitch the Thassa to force if we want to force is not ideal. But and um, I'm actually going to undercity sewers here. Like if they want to spend a turn wastelanding me. I'll accept that, but and this get, plays around Stifle. I'm gonna put uh, put the Dark Ritual on top. No Wasteland. And I think I have to take a turn off um, Thought Seizing here, rather than just going ham. Although, like, if I go Dark Ritual, Shouldered, and yes, I will go Shouldered over Doomsday, I think. Or will I? Maybe Doomsday. Ah, no. I, I don't know. This, the whole, like, passing the turn, stifle in the deck kind of thing. But, like, if I force here, they would have to have two answers in their hand to stop the Shouldred. I think I kind of like that, actually. 
So let's try that. If they have days four, so be it. If not, then I really like my spot here. Force pitch. Uh, brainstorm. I'm all in now, because uh, Thassa is no longer in my deck. Okay, please don't also have days. They're bobbling themselves. Not sure how that would impact anything, but uh, shoulder it's in. Instantly getting uh, the bobble draw. Okay. So let's hope the shoulder it can, uh, can ride us all the way to victory here. That they don't just immediately bounce it or something or kill it with molten collapse. They didn't flip Delver. Okay, Wasteland, sure. Wasteland's not gonna... Okay, I don't know. I'm going to Daze here, or sorry, Duress here. I don't know what they could have that would deal five damage. Like if they have Bolt plus the one block from, from Delver, I don't know. But, uh, but let's see. And if they like do something here, I can Daze. Okay, Stifle. Stifle plus two lands. But yeah, I was going to say I could daze, and then I could um, pick up my Undercity Sewers and get another Surveil, which is pretty sweet. What They flipped off of Brainstorm. Yeah. So they're at 10 now. If they cast the Brainstorm, they're at 4. What's the plan here? Just attack? Yeah. Pretty happy with my spot here, I have to say. Okay. Let's go. Okay, now it's uh, it's lethal. They have to keep back the uh, Delver. Oh, okay, I guess not. So their hand is the single brainstorm. They're not attacking. Yeah, I hear ya. And they concede. Awesome. Three and zero. How about that? Off to round number four. All right, on the play for round number four. And. Yeah, keep this. Um, this doesn't seem like a personal tutor spot because we're sort of a mana short. So I probably am just going to play Underground Sea and pass and then likely cast Consider before my next turn. But we shall see. Underground Sea, or rather Polluted Delta Mirror. Consider gives it away what we're doing here. The only deck in the format that plays Doomsday, or the place considers Doomsday. I'll draw the Dark Ritual, though I'm not high on confidence with this. Oh, I just drew the Doomsday. How about that? So, what do you do here? So, if I cast a uh, Dark Ritual, Doomsday, I can play around days, but if they have Force, then it just gets forced. I think I'm, I'm going to pass for now. Yeah, I think I'm I'm probably just a bit too conservative. If I just get like entombed, reanimated here, that sucks. But we do have the days to kind of fight back. Wasteland here is probably what I'm most afraid of. <laughs> um, okay, they're leaving it up though, which makes me think they have bowmasters, or they're just wasting me in my upkeep for some reason. Um, okay. I'll cast Brainstorm here. It would be funny if they gave me a target for days to save my, my Underground Sea. That's much better. Um, okay. So put back Thassa Personal Tutor. I'll draw the Personal Tutor, but, you know. Wow, that was really good. Let's, uh, let's hope they don't have, like, double force here. Is this another Stifle deck, I was just about to say? All right, so going for it here feels like a no-brainer. With the Force backup and Days if they end up like tapping mana. Question is, what do I pitch here? It looks like they're they're getting ready to do something. Obviously, like Flusterstorm is, is like a KO here. This oh wow, what is this? What deck plays Flusterstorm in the main and Wasteland? 
Okay, well, I mean, can't beat that. It's just like Grixis or Demir Scam or Demir Delver that just randomly wanted a main deck cluster storm. That's really interesting. But it's it's not the end of the world. We'll see if they have more wastelands. It's obviously pretty bad. If they don't, then we get to keep playing the game. Ponder. I'm not gonna daze the ponder. Um, not sure if like it could be correct, but yeah, I don't know. If they don't shuffle. Luckily, didn't they didn't find another wasteland. They grief us here. Okay, I'm gonna let grief happen. And um, we'll see what they take here. If they have reanimate, they probably take days. If they don't have reanimate, or if they have reanimate and can fight back, they'll, I don't know. Two best cards in my hand is the Ponder and the Personal Tutor, I guess. So, we shall see. Wow, that was a dagger. They take force, okay, interesting. I guess that means they have force, probably. This Ponder, huh? Why do you take force? And then immediately tap out. I guess they know my hand can't be Doomsday next turn. Kind of no matter what happens. I guess it would have to be like I draw a Brainstorm and then Brainstorm into Doomsday and Dark Ritual. And they did not shuffle their Ponder. Hmm. I think I Ponder here and hope to find a land and then I Thought Seize them. I do. Oh, this is actually really good. I almost feel like I'm not supposed to shuffle here just to get the second land but i'm also like really worried about them going land bow masters next turn anime dead and tomb and brainstorm and a land so does this deck play like gristlebrand type thing i think i'm supposed to take the animate dead yeah i'll take animate dead and pass if i had let them keep animate dead which i could and taking brainstorm, I would then personal tutor, but then they could just like wait wait a turn on the grief. I don't know. It's a weird, wonderful, wonderful world we're living in where this sort of stuff is going on. So they're brainstorming into one, like two fresh cards and one known card. And so we can deduce that they let they kept the brainstorm on top of the deck with the ponder, and then something else they liked underneath, I guess. They probably put back a uh, watery grave. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna personal tutor here. They know about days. They don't know about edge. Not sure if this is gonna end happily for me. I probably it won't, but we'll see. Is this cycling a troll or something? And tomb. Okay. Okay. So they get a traxa here. And we have to assume they can get her into play. Wasteland, yikes. I think I probably cycle here. But then if they can just get grief or whatever, yeah, maybe that was a punt. But they could not. They're just passing. Or, no, nah, actually, hang on. They're just passing into my second main step. <laughs> into their second main step, yeah. Ooh, they even get a track sign out the grief. Let's see what they what they hit. Feels unlikely for us to win from here. They find a daze, a force, another wasteland, a reanimate. So they keep reanimate, wasteland, force, and orcish bowmasters. I guess they re reanimate here. Eh, I mean, I'll, I'll daze. Who knows? At least make them force so then show us what what the last card in their hand was days okay yeah i'm gonna concede being hellbent with uh one permanent in play versus an attract so it doesn't feel like the place to be all right so i kind of want children but i also am really worried about children because like if they thought sees or grief me and then reanimate it that's that's like really bad but I still think it's okay. I'm I'm also not too down on personal tutor, but I will probably cut a couple. Yeah, maybe three. I'll 
cut a second oracle. That dress is nice. I'll take a dress. I'll probably cut um, the last person's food. Yeah. And I guess maybe one Thoughtseize more. Yeah, no, let's do that. All right, let's see how we do for uh, game number two here. Oh, that's a mulligan. And yeah, I'll keep this. It's, um, hmm. Unfortunately, we can't, like, this isn't a protected kill. So we could, we could bottom the days, and then if Street Wraith hits us a land, we could dress and then do Zay. Or we could bottom the Edge of Autumn, and then, like, Street Wraith hitting a land is, like, double protection. Because it lets us dress and then also daze. But then, like, Edge of Autumn is nice. No, I think, I think actually, I like bottoming the Edge of Autumn. And I am going to cycle the Street Wraith. We do hit a land. How about that? All right. I mean... No, I am gonna duress as well. Like we could just go for the days to to mean to, like to save the pedal, but if they have double force, then I'm gonna be sad. And they have one force, so why don't we take the take the brainstorm? I guess leave them with um with a, a force of negation. Okay, so we have to build a pile that beats a wasteland. And maybe even two wastelands, which is maybe a little bit problematic. Let's see, how does this work? So we we draw Misty, pass, then draw Cavern, pass, then draw Edge. That's a lot of passing, but I mean, I'm not sure. They're going to pitch Grief next turn for sure even if they don't draw a second black spell and they're not really doing a whole lot else so I do kind of think this may be okay all right so let's put um, snow covered island on the bottom and then Thassa and then edge cavern misty Honestly, it would not hate them just, like, wasting me here, drawing a wasteland, because that means sort of a free turn. Am I able to beat, like, Resolved Grief this turn? So, if they cast Grief, we draw Misty. We're at an effective 8. They attack us down to 5. We draw a Cavern. They attack us down to 2. And then... We draw edge and then win. So, yeah, maybe. Okay, they're looking through our deck. See the shouldered plan. Okay, there's a delta. Grief pitch animate dead. I mean, I could daze this, but <laughs> they just don't pay. It doesn't matter. I'm just back a land drop, so I don't think there's any sort of way around this. They get to take my daze. So they were playing Flusterstorm in the main. Who knows if they could be on Stifle. It's a crazy world we're living in. We're not going to be playing Cavern next turn. So we could save our land drop here. Make them sort of have to worry about what's in our hand. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that... I don't see a cost to doing that. Unless they're like playing him to Torak. Which would, you know, be pretty sick. There's Underground Sea. There's Ponder. That's great. That means no him to Torak. It also means no Orcish Bowmasters this uh, this turn. They do not shuffle. Okay. Black mana, random grief. Sure. Get to see my misty rainforest. All right, and. Play the Misty. And we have made the pile this way to completely play around discard. Uh, other than him to Turok, of course. 
So I think it's like Stifle or Bust here. Or I guess they, they, these Demir decks sometimes play Dress Down. So that's certainly also possible. All right. Um, let's uh, aim Wizard. Let's fetch. And they played that island, right? Yeah, so we know one card in their hand, and it's a Force of Negation. So if they had two removal spells, um, there's a cost to not cycling first. So let's just cycle first. All right, cool. So we took a game. So now the tricky on the draw. And this is where having Shouldered becomes really scary. So... But also not having shoulder it doesn't feel great. Maybe a couple of dismembers is not the worst. Um, yeah, maybe even in place of like force of will. Maybe even get rid of the third force and add the the fourth discard spell. Yeah, I kind of like that. We were sort of low on blue cards. Um, force of will is sort of not at its best on the draw versus the day's deck, but they also, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna throw away this this hand, but um, I do expect it to get stripped of the Doomsday on turn one. We, we shall see. Sap in the Watery Grave and pass. Okay, so this is Flusterstorm or I guess Entomb. Days is decent if it is Entomb. Um, gonna draw the thought sees, I think. We don't have the black mana right now, but um, could be worth, could be worth it. Blue mana, okay, so they're cycling a troll, sure. So far, they've not like put bowmasters on the stack. I would very much like for them to keep that status quo. Like animate dead or reanimate on this troll is an acceptable sort of turn two for us, for them to have, but uh, yeah. Well, there's reanimate, so now they have a clock here. Shouldered would be sick. Okay, second main phase ponder, tapping out of, tapping out of doomsday, or sorry, of, uh, of days. Let's have a look, grief. I think I daze that. They can daze back. In which case I'll be sad, but not that's not like the end of the world. Okay, they don't. I feel like that means they don't have days. Oh, shouldered. There's a dark ritual and the dismember. Oof. I actually think now oh, hear me out. I think I'm going to not draw the Underground Sea because I don't think, like, if they have a Wasteland, then I think the game just ends. Whereas if I get to cast the Dark Ritual next turn and have a second Dark Ritual, we can do some fun stuff with uh, with Thoughtseize and, and whatnot. Come on, please. Just pass, please. There's the Wasteland. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. There's a track. Uh, there's anime dead, I guess. Oh, reanimate. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can't do anything about that. I don't expect to win now. <laughs> uh, what do they put in their hand? Bowmasters or grief? What will it be? Also now. Um, now, Shouldred doesn't win the game anymore. Oh, they choose Bowmasters, though. That's pretty big. So, actually, I just win, right? Wow. That's crazy. Their hand. We know their hand. It's uh, Ponder, Force, and Bowmasters. Oh, and one, one Mystery card. So, as long as that Mystery card isn't also a Force, and I guess as long as they... Let, I guess I don't win, actually. Why don't we just, you know, keep it calm here? If they force this Dark Ritual, then they win. And they probably will force it. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I could 
I can't really ponder into yeah they force cheeky buggers um I guess there's this member yeah okay so now they just have me they get to they get to bowmasters me next turn uh they get to wasteland they beat us they beat me to with an inch of my life. They beat me down to, to one, actually, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, all right. GG's. Well played on that force of will. They don't force there. We we win, but they they wisely did force. I would do that, too, I think, with the wasteland as well. Feels pretty strong. All right, off to round number five. On the draw for round number five. And I'm going to keep this hand. It's, uh, it's promising. Promises a doomsday at some point in our in our future. Okay, tropical island. Oh, it's the the rhinos deck. All right, okay. They s suspended the f crashing footfalls. A land here, yeah. I still think I probably preordain. Uh, cabal ritual. Okay. I think drawing cabal ritual is fine. I don't like giving them the heads up with the personal suitor next turn, but I guess that's just sort of the way the cookie crumbles here. And the dark ritual lets us like day or cabal ritual lets us daze and then still cast doomsday on the subsequent turn. Second force is pretty big. Um, yeah, and. We're also a bit lucky that they are on this sort of slow suspend to crashing for falls version of their deck. So we will cast Doomsday before the first crashing for falls comes off suspend. Just play Volcanic Island and pass. I'm not sure this will matter, but I am just going to cast the Cabal Ritual. They're obviously not a Days deck. Um. So it probably won't matter. So maybe that was dumb. I could have saved the fetch land and put a card fewer in the in the pile. I don't think it'll matter. Um yeah, like uh mystical dispute, I'm not gonna be able to pay for that. So but double force should be good enough. And we'll see what happens when the dust settles. Force of negation. So I'm going to daze, and although maybe that's just dumb, because they could have a spirit guide. Uh, I'm, I am going to daze. I'd rather double daze than, like, double force or whatever. If they have, they would have to have two spirit guides to beat double daze, and that way we still keep open force. Okay, but that just resolved the daze, I mean. Um, a force pitch, force of will. I've actually left myself in a little bit of an awkward position here because if their last card in hand is a wasteland, then you would think they would wasteland me before. But if if that is the case, I still think it's fine because like yeah, the one footfalls is gonna come off, come off suspend, but it's gonna like the rhinos is gonna they're gonna be summoning sick. Um, so let's just. I guess like running wastelands get me here, and I could make a pile that just has brainstorm and just counts on them not having another force or mystical dispute next turn, but I'd rather do this. Stack them sort of green, black, green, black. All right, no wasteland, please. I'll like force of will of fire or like an ice on my underground sea. They did have a wasteland, wow. Is this gonna be the ultimate punish here? Like another wasteland, I'm just dead. So it's not another wasteland. I am going to force this because I'll be at one if I don't. That means I'm dead to a top decked uh, ice. I'm dead to a top decked wasteland. And I'm dead to a top decked uh, mystical dispute on Oracle. So they do have quite a few draws here. Yeah. Well, here are some eight eights, or some four fours rather. 
so what was it they were passing so it's like ice now i'm sad okay no ice next question is mystical dispute question mark i guess i yeah with the way that things turned out i didn't need four cyclers but i couldn't well i wasn't sort of playing around that how about no mystical dispute, please? We win that one. So, uh, Shieldred is okay, but not as great as I once thought versus this deck because they play a lot of bounce. Um, and they also play that uh, inevitable betrayal card that lets them um, sort of, like, yeah, steal one of my creatures from my deck. Uh, Force of Negation, maybe, but yeah. I'm not sure. Six cards here. Maybe like three shoulder is one too many. And I think I'm okay going away from the sort of win right now plan. Uh, personal Tutor. Yeah, I'll cut three personal series and I'll add the third children actually. All right. Oh, be still my heart. I wish I had a land. Opponent is keeping seven. Twitches keep this and hope that lots of force of wills will get me there. I mean, I'm, I'm actually going to do this. Like, we top deck a land, we're off to the races, but this is a super loose keep. <clears throat> and also, like, they can go on my turn with uh, Violent Outburst, so the forces of negation are kind of meh. Land? <sighs> Get out of here. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to this card and discard uh, this one of these Thassa's Oracles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. They're also a Blood Moon deck, so there's that. Shortless Agent, sure. And they hit the Footfalls. I'm going to force of negation that pitch ponder. And that just happened, so that's good. Could mean they have like another way to go next turn. Could mean they have force of negation. Land? Not a land. Street Wraith. Cycle. Draw me a land, please. No! Okay. Well, we are a 15 land deck. But also, I guess the four petals would have gotten us here, so. But now we're back on double force, so that's good. My ancient nemesis. Land, please. God. Come on. They're also a Minsk and Boo deck sometimes, so. And all these basics make me think they're also a Blood Moon deck post board, so. Let's see. Something's happening. Green, red, colorless Magus, huh? I don't think so. Mystical Dispute, Force, Magus. So now we're sort of naked in case they have Force of Negation or whatever as like their last two cards uh, on this Doomsday, in which case I have just nothing. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter because I just keep not drawing a land, getting the ultimate punish here for that loose keep. Representing Hardcast Force of Will now. So now a land actually gets me to, like I can daze. Oh, there's a land. All right, let's see. My read on them is Force of Negation, due, like based on how the previous counter wars uh, shaped up. Yeah, uh, yikes. Well, at least they, it's, they didn't take my Doomsday. They're probably doing this because they're worried about Shouldred. That would be the reason to do that. And they Wasteland me, yeah. Don't think I'll be uh, getting or, oh, away from this this game here. Yeah, I'm just going to concede we can go to game number three. This is uh, this feels like a little bit of a moot point playing on. But I mean, so if, if we draw land earlier, then I feel like we 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 get there. But let's see here. Dismember probably needed for the Magus to have an out versus the Magus. 
And I'll cut a second copy of Oracle here. I'm not banking on or planning on that to, to really matter. Uh, and I'll cut the last personal tutor. Yeah, let's keep this. And uh, it kind of sucks that the Undersea Sewers is in our hand. But uh, yeah, well, it is what it is. Put a mulligans to six. Maybe I play the sewers. Like, even if it gets wastelanded, it still sort of did something. And if it doesn't get wastelanded, we, we get to brainstorm with a fetch land next turn. I don't hate that, but obviously also it's great to, like, ponder on turn one, so. I like having an answer to a Magus of the Moon here, which they will, will probably, like, go really far to, to, to resolve. <clears throat> like, even, like, using two spirit guides or something. Yeah, and we don't want the we don't need the pedal here. We're sort of set on mana. Thought sees, huh? I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll I'll thought sees here. Hold on to the brainstorm. Endurance. Okay. So what do I take here? I think maybe I just take the violent outburst. I think I'm mostly afraid of that. We can play around the other stuff. I mean, imagine if we just draw shouldered right now. What a wonderful world it would be. Uh, let's cast Brainstorm. Okay, don't think we need the second Dark Ritual. Or the Force of Negation. Don't hate having a third land. Uh, I am going to just not respect Wasteland and Blood Moon. On shoulder, yes, please. Okay, I'm actually going to put Lotus Petal on top here, uh, underneath the shoulder, I mean. Because it means even, like, if they put Magus of the Moon on the stack, we have a choice to let it resolve and then still be able to play Dark Ritual Doomsday. Uh, sorry, Dark Ritual Shoulder. Let's see. Maybe some Misty. Now they can hard cast. Uh, they can hard cast Force of Negation, but no, because they choose to suspend uh, the Footfalls. And I'm going to cast Dark Ritual here. Uh, yeah, let's play out the pedal. Not sure it will end up mattering, but. Um, now I do kind of like my spot here. Like if they bounce Shuldred. Okay, they don't. I was gonna say, yeah, it's sort of a, I was undecided if I was gonna fight over that with force. Probably not, because we just like recast Shuldred next turn. Okay, so we know force of negation and endurance here. And now we're gonna draw, I think, a fetch land. Yeah. I'm gonna attack here. If they shouldered sorry, if they endurance, they would need like spirit guide fire as their last two cards. And then we can just like choose between dismembering their endurance and forcing the fire. And like if we can get to resolve this brainstorm at some point, like it doesn't even matter with uh like footfalls I'm Okay, but if they have, like, outbursts here... Okay, they don't. They're just thinning. Now they're down to 10. Shardless Agent. Okay. So if their last unknown card is blue, they can force... No, they can't. Never mind. If, if it's a, a spirit guide, they can hard cast the force. Okay, so they get footfalls. So what happens if I force of will here? I think I'm gonna... Oh, does it even matter? Yeah, I'm going to cast Brainstorm right now, just to bolster my, my life total a bit, and hopefully find a second blue card. I don't find second blue, but I do find Dark Ritual. So we can force that way. <clears throat> and this way we keep open, keep a hold of the dismember as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, let me just fetch here. 
rather than losing like the pedal. Uh, maybe I was supposed to get basic island there. There's no real cost to that at this point. And if a Magus of the Moon resolves, then you know, we would have access to uh, blue mana once the dust had settled, if somehow my dismember gets countered. Okay, looks like they have a spirit guide. So they can uh, cast Force of Negation here. Which I think is okay. Yep, there we go. Alright, so that gets Force of Negated. And so now they have some Tramplers. Yeah, I'm not going to attack because... Like, if they put all three creatures in front of it, then this this member doesn't do anything. Oh, but I draw a second dismember. That's really interesting. So now I probably just do attack here. And I can just clear, like, clear their board if they choose to put everything in front of it. I'll dismember the two rhinos. Then dismember this. And dismember that. I'm going to pay a Lotus Petal rather than two life, like that, and then we pay. Their last card in hand is the Endurance. They lose the Shardless Agent, they drop to seven. Then they can play Endurance to block. But I think at this point I'm not supposed to keep attacking with the Shouldred because Shouldred then like gets eaten by Rhinos if they have Violent Outburst. And I just, I have inevitability anyways, so I'm just going to, even if they they get two 8-8s here, or two four fours, I mean. Like, Force of Will plus a Bounce spell here would be kind of devastating. Yeah, they don't attack. I guess they can't attack, they're summoning sick. But, like, the life gain here is, is really big, and I draw Ponder, which is more life gain, which is just beautiful. This is not so beautiful, though. All right, um... Yeah, I'll play the Delta and pass. So they play the Endurance, I guess? No. Oh, they had the Violent Outburst. Ra wow. Okay. So what gets revealed here? Another Footfalls. Not the Inevitable Betrayal. Okay, so now they have 16 power. But I still have... Like, I can eat one of them, unless they have yet another Violent Outburst. Like, if, and if they Alpha Strike here, I'll, I'll be at 14. They have the Endurance to block. So I'll have to block now or next turn, so I might as well just block now. And if they have a third Outburst, well, then I lose Shieldred. Or I guess Fire does it too, but they didn't have it. I think that's enough, right? So I I attack. They have to chump with uh, endurance. Yep. And now I can daze a fire, I guess. They would have fired before, obviously, if they had it. So endurance dies. I then take uh, 12, drop to, drop to 8, and then they're dead. They have to remove shoulder this turn or deal me the, the outstanding uh, 8 damage. Like even bouncing her right now, they would have to bounce it on in their upkeep. Yeah, okay, they didn't do it. Sweet, we beat Rhinos. All right. This deck, I think, did really well. Um, we lost to a very scary matchup. Basically, like, blue, like blue-black reanimator combined with tempo. Like, the most scary combo deck for a combo deck to play. And the most unpleasant sort of non-combo deck for a combo deck to play. So, the blue-black scam deck with a reanimator package is, like, legit one of the least pleasant decks I would consider facing with, I think, any version of Doomsday probably. But particularly with this sort of version. I think the deck really sort of performed in in every round, even in that round where we we had we had a chance but ended up losing. But yeah, let's um, 
I'd definitely not be averse to playing this uh, some more. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, do all the YouTube stuff, you know, like and subscribe and all that stuff. If you haven't, uh, that really helps me. And yeah, I'll be back with some more Legacy. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.